What is going on my lines? Welcome today. I'm excited because I want to tell you guys how to crush your competition. So if you're an Amazon seller or thinking about getting into it and you were worried about competition, right? I'm going to show you guys my top three ways how I beat my competition day in, day out. And guys, like it's not going to be like uh, as easy as some people tell you. You still have to put a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure that everything is running well and all that but nonetheless I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so before uh, we get into that I'm hoping you guys are having an amazing weekend sales have been really great for me this past week I hope the ones uh, guys that uh, the ones that you've already started selling um, I hope your sales are as amazing I don't know what's happening this weekend but it has been amazing for me and I hope it continues I'm kind of sad that it's Sunday because I wanted those uh, weekend sales to continue and really really generate some good profits for us so nonetheless let's get right into it and let's talk about some of the most important things that people should consider any real businessman should consider when they're trying to sell their product on Amazon or any online business right so the two most important things that you always have to consider is positioning right that's something that every that's just marketing 101 positioning your product and your listing and the second thing is differentiation okay positioning is how can you position your product so that the buyers choose your product versus others versus your competitors what can you do to make that happen and one of the ways to do it is by differentiating your product so you guys see how the two are related and it's like they're intertwined so you have to differentiate your product to make it look different to make the buyer give uh, give them the um give them the mindset that uh, give them the perception that they're getting a lot more for their product than what other competitors are giving them so differentiation is key and one of the top ways we can differentiate ourselves is by doing a proper listing and i know guys i've been talking to you guys a lot about product research and listing and how to do it properly so i'm going to drop the links in the description below so you guys can check out that video as well but let's go through it quickly when you go to an Amazon listing right when you want to buy something um, on Amazon right think of yourself as the buyer and I'm sure a lot of you are you are buying online stuff right so when you go on Amazon and you want to buy a product right when you see a product that has like maybe one or two pictures what is your initial thought right you don't trust that listing you're like okay something is wrong they try they're not trying to show me everything Hence, transparency becomes very important. When you try to put more pictures, right, and high resolution quality, studio quality pictures, right, your buyers will assume that you have nothing to hide and it builds a trust factor. So high resolution pictures are one of the top things you can do to attract the buyer's attention. We all buy with our eyes. Even if we're buying food, we're buying with our eyes. If food does not look good, right, you are going to get out of a restaurant. You are not going to buy. If the presentation looks great, that is your first hook, guys. So keep that in mind. Then the description. The description has to be very compelling to the point, and it has to describe the product uh, like throughout. Like It has to give any question that you can think of that the buyer will have about your product. It has to be answered within your description and your key points. Make sure they're copyrighted by a marketable person who's somebody who's very in tune with the marketing terminology make sure that your listing is seo optimized search engine optimized because amazon is a search engine right so it has to be optimized just like anything else online you have to use words that our people are searching for that's how your listing will pop up and that's how your listing will be marketable so when they see your listing when they see your professionalism it will be very hard for them to pass on to. The second way that we can differentiate ourselves from our competitors is a very tangible way. By that, I mean bundling your products. So I don't want you guys to think about like, I've, uh, there's a story like some guy approached me and he's like, you know what, I'm selling a camera and I want to throw a free pen. I'm like, hmm, do you think that those two products go together? Not at all, right? I'm like, if you're selling a camera, why don't you sell an SD card with it? 
that is an absolute immediate need accessory that they will be looking for when you're buying a camera like let's say Canon like the ones that I have here you are gonna need accessories like a bag if it doesn't have already potentially a mic right if people are video recording um, a tripod right these are the kind of products and of course a SD card for memory for uh, shooting pictures videos and all kinds of stuff these are the kind of things that I want you guys to think about when you're bundling your products make sure they're not uh, unrelated products so um, an example that I always use is a simple one uh, which is a pen right if you're selling a pen and it's for let's say ten dollars right let's say it's a really high quality pen and your product is the same as your top three competitors and they're selling it for ten dollars and your pricing is really good probably slightly a bit lower I always suggest that you go slightly lower than your competition again with price perception but the value that you bring in is that theirs may have one pen but yours has two pens right who do you think the, bu the buyer is going to be attracted more towards and if you have a professional listing and everything looks good automatically subconsciously they're going to go towards your listing and that's what i'm talking about bundling creating tangible value that they can feel touch use and see right that's what i'm talking about you need to build a tangible value by bundling your product with accessories that are related and if it's a need even better accessories that you anticipate that your buyer will actually be looking for after they purchase your product so that is very important so I hope you guys keep that in mind and really try to innovate with whatever product you're selling. I mean, guys, like think about it. How many products are on Amazon, right? How are you going to innovate? The way you're going to innovate is to bundle them together and create a whole new set of products that way. So that's how we try to beat our competition. The third and absolute favorite way to beat your competition are reviews. And guys, unfortunately, there are people out there, sellers, who, what they try to do is give you negative reviews. Um, I've had people who actually put negative reviews on my listings where they haven't even really uh, purchased a product or tried it out. Like these sellers, a, a lot of sellers, what they do is they will probably try to purchase one of your products, which one of the sellers did, and then left a really bad negative review on mine. And it's, it's a hassle to take it off and try to convince them and I'm going to show you guys in a later video how to deal with negative reviews but reviews are your most important aspects of your Amazon listing think about vacations right you want to go let's say you've booked Mexico and you want to go to Mexico right you're searching resorts what's the first thing you look at you look at the reviews of the resorts after you've looked at the listing hence the pictures the description the amenities you look at the reviews you want to know what people are thinking people who have been there and what they are saying about that product or that uh, vacation spot right so that's why reviews are very important they're testimonials from actual buyers trying to convince other potential buyers for you so that's why positive reviews are your best friends with Amazon listings one of the ways and this is one of my tricks that I've used when I launch products to make sure that my product has the sales velocity and also the positive reviews that it needs I ask my friends if they can purchase a product and leave a positive review right that's one way to do it but there is a little bit of trick that are not a lot of not a lot of uh, mentors or anybody talk about is that instead of your friends writing the reviews in their own words you actually create the review yourself why do we do that right because you know your product inside out you know what kind of issues people are facing with this product you know what kind of of these issues what your product is trying to solve so you're going to include that in that review you're going to have a very targeted review like if you're selling a pen right one of the common common issues that is uh, that is associated with pens is that it leaks right if you put it in your pocket it leaks and such so when you write a review you know what your friend can say when you write it for them of course is that you know like I've had many pens that had leaks and lot, but this pen is amazing I had no issues with it so all of all of a sudden subconsciously you're sending that idea that okay it's solving that problem and if people have any concerns about that that's it a positive review like that will really fix um, it will really help you build a sales velocity and that's what I'm talking about guys like don't be shy to ask your friend and to make their life easier 
and to make your review better, you write it for them. You don't let them write because people get lazy. People tend to like just try to finish something and get it over with and not have to worry about it. So that's why we write the reviews and we give it to them so they can post it. These are my top three ways, guys, that uh, is absolutely been proven to crush competition for me and has really increased my sales that way. So again, guys, we talked about uh, your product, your listing, right? That is very important. We've talked about um, the um, differentiation and the positioning of your product. And most important of all, we've talked about bundling and how you can actually create a brand new product out of it. And if you do these things right, you're bound to crush your competition. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday, which is tomorrow, for another informative video. Thanks again for watching. If you're a new uh, viewer, make sure to subscribe, like this video, drop a comment. Let me know how things are going with you, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks again, guys, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.